So it's Christoph here with Lindsay Webb, the Guinness World Record holder yes. for the longest stand-up comedian show by an individual. That's right. How long did that go for? 38 hours and 6 minutes. It's important not to forget the 6 minutes because they look lonely on the end. <laughs> So how exactly did your audience, I mean, did you have like a rotating audience or something? Or? Uh, we did. We had over 700 people come through over the event. Uh, some people stayed the entire length, kudos to them, because mm. uh, I wanted to go home, so I imagine <laughs> they did. Uh, and then people just came in hourly, two hourly, the ticketing was all done in separate ways. So, uh, yeah. Most of the people seemed to enjoy it. We had some interesting people, a group of Zulu that came in about three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> scientists? Yeah, yeah, they were Zulu scientists. <laughs> Who even knew? Them? Yeah, no, it was quite interesting. It was lots of fun. Yeah, no, that sounds great. And where did you do that? I did it at the Gallery in Montmartre in Brisbane. Uh, a fantastic space. It's something I didn't think of beforehand was comfortable chairs. Fortunately, the place had comfortable chairs. Uh, uh, it was great. It was really good. It nearly killed me. Um, I was totally out of energy, completely spent by the end of it. It took several weeks to recover, but uh, a fantastic event. I really enjoyed it. No, it's fantastic. And so uh, did you have to go through the... How did you get an official down there to, uh, to oh, clock boy. with me? Did you uh, have a big red clock behind you or I, something? I did like have that? a clock. We had to get video footage of the clock. And the rules are quite complicated. Guinness, uh, they make a great beer. They also do a good rule book. <laughs> a good rule book. Uh, we couldn't afford to have the adjudicator because that costs quite a, a lot of money, especially over a 38 hour period of time. Um, so they then give you a whole heap of rules and regulations that you have to follow, independent witnesses, uh, officials to sign off on it, uh, notaries to be witnesses to the whole thing. Then you send it off to London and just sweat and wait. <laughs> wait for them to come back and say, yes, you did it. So how did you uh, keep talking? I mean, did you just keep on pulling out material or picking oh, on people? Or I have to be honest you? with you, there, there was a period of time where I was just bumbling. Uh, but for most of it, I, I improved the first six hours, so that was fun. Uh, and, and I got to do something that I never thought I'd be able to do. I did a 37-hour callback, which was quite, quite fun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and the rest of it, I've got uh, three or four one-hour shows that I've written before, so I worked them in a club routine. Some improvisation, we played a few games, we did a bit of a talk show for a while. Yeah. We uh, brought in a fantastic concept by Ricky D, which is the Cuddly Creek Comedy Club, which is just a you know character based comedy club. So, just to give us a bit of stimulation, and so we weren't getting sick of it. I was pretty sick after about 24 hours, I sick of my own voice. <laughs> I didn't want to talk anymore. Uh, so, were they plying you with beer as well at the venue? Or? No way, I couldn't possibly have drunk alcohol through the event. I didn't have a beer until I'd broken the record. Once we got to that 36 hour mark, yeah. uh, which was Tommy Tierman's old record, then it was uh, plain sailing. I put the crown on, drank the crown, and talked away for a couple of hours. No, that's great. Yeah, um, it was good fun. Awesome. So, you're here for Adelaide Fringe? I love Adelaide Fringe, and Adelaide Fringe likes me. <laughs> yeah, no, and you're, you, you've been going the whole way through, aren't you? I, I am indeed, the whole way through. Yeah, if you're going to have a go, you may as well man up and do the whole thing. Uh, I'm doing a great show, I really enjoy it. It's called Hurry Up Jesus, and don't panic, he's not coming back since I'm really looking around. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really having fun with it. This is a fun show. Uh, it's a topic that uh, is something a little bit tender for people, and I'm poking some holes in the fabric of religion and enjoying it, having a great time. And uh, what have the crowds been like so far? Have they been uh, receptive? The or crowds have been you... No, I haven't had one person walk out going, oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> They've all been really good. They all um, seem to know what they're expecting. And when it comes, they're quite excited. And I'm enjoying it. Um, I'd like there to be more of them. If you're watching this, come in. There's seats. I've got seats. It's awesome. <laughs> Whereabouts are you uh, doing your show? I'm at the Maiden Magpie, which is uh, McGill Road. I can step in. It's a yeah. little way up, but if you in the gardens, close enough, a little stumble, a bit of courage in the air. Uh, it, and it's a lovely venue, it's the first year they've had a fringe at that venue. Uh, so it's quite a lot of fun, there's some good shows on out there and good atmosphere on the weekends, so it's quite nice, I'm enjoying it. Are you, is this your first time to Adelaide Fringe? It's my first time doing my own show at the Fringe. Uh, I've been here the last few years doing, um, you know, Fat Caves and Late Nights at Rhino and doing the Gov, uh, Best of the Fest down there late show, so I'm no, I'm no stranger to Adelaide, uh, but this is the first time I've done my own show in Adelaide. In fact, the first time I've done my own show at uh, an Australian festival, so it's quite exciting. Have you been internationally uh, then with the show? I have. I've done Edinburgh for a few years, um, and with Mickey Dean, my good mate, I uh, spent a bit of time in the UK, and went to New Zealand last year for the New Zealand Festival. So, I'm no stranger to festivals, just haven't launched in an Australian one until I was ready, and I tell you, I'm ready. This is good. Are you looking to break the record again anytime soon? Oh, well, not real soon. Uh, I've been asked if I'll do it again. Some people are interested in televising it, filming it for a series, but. I think I'm still recovering, so I'm, <laughs> I'm not going to rush in and try to break that record again. If someone else wants to, go for it. Go for it. Let me tell you, it's not easy to have that. <laughs> uh, just quickly going back to that 38 hours and 6 minutes. Yeah. 
How many laughs per minute do you reckon you got? Uh, on laughs per hour or? Gee, on, on laughs per hour, I, I would say there would have been solely three or four laughs in every 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. So uh, whatever the math is on that. <laughs> 24, let's say 25 laughs an hour, which is we've got too bad. And, and obviously as it compounded as it got towards the end, because I was more lucid, um, I was more excited about the record being broken and things sort of ramped up right towards the end, so it compounded nicely. And in terms of structure, we sort of flipped it. Um, I was on stage most of the time, Mickey Dean was there with me and sort of directing and inspiring me to do different things. So it pinnacled really nicely. But I mean, if you're planning such a long show, it's hard to put a structure down on paper, but we did it on the fly and it worked out really nicely. No worries. Thanks, Lindsay, for joining us here at Christmas. My pleasure. See you at the show.